creating pop-ups is super simple, as we've done in the previous videos that we've just released. But what if you want to do an off-canvas pop-up menu? So what I mean by that is you're going to click an icon or a button or whatever, and a menu is going to come in on the left or the right-hand side. It could be, it can come in from any direction, to be honest, but let's just say it's going to come in from the left-hand side. What I'm going to do first is create the pop-up off-canvas menu first, and then we're going to assign it to a button or an icon. Okay, now quite simply what you do is go over to your templates. You can click on pop up straight away or you can just click add new and then click, uh, where is it? There it is, pop up. And I'm going to call this one pop off like that. Okay, remember try and give it a name that you're not going to forget and is easily recognizable going forward. By the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Make sure you click like and subscribe if you haven't already. So, you do get some templates that Elemental gives you, but I'm not too fussed about using them. We're going to create one totally from scratch. What I'm going to do, though, is just drop some items into here, okay? Um, so I could, if I want, go over to, say, Nav Menu, and I could drop my menu in like this, and I might say, let's make it vertical, and I might say that there is no breakpoint. So it's always going to be visible um, basically like that. Even when you go to mobile or tablet, you're not going to get, that's not going to convert into the bars or the toggle. Now, the great thing about the pop-up off canvas menu is that you can add more than just your menu into there. So if I was to go over here and I said I wanted to type in like social sharing icons, I could do that as well. By the way, I'm not doing any styling here, okay? That's for you to decide as part of your brand or whatever you're trying to get across. But I could easily resize and do stuff like that using the style option. But what I want to get across is that your pop-up off canvas menu could even have a subscribe now box. So let's get rid of name. Let's get rid of that. That could be a subscribe now box as well. Uh, you could even go over here and say, okay, um, we're going to make this be about 50% uh, in size, something like that. And the button, you know, you could even, well, in fact, you could do that and make that 50% as well. So you could do something like that if you so want or have it sit completely below or side by side. You could style it accordingly to how you want. But the idea is, is that you can put whatever you want into it. You could even drop in a Google map as well. And the only thing you really need to worry about when you're working on your section is your styling in a way and what's going to be present. Your background colors and anything else you want to do on here. Custom width, inline, anything like that. You don't have to overly worry too much about the width of this, but I tend to do that. So I might go in and go, right, this is going to be no more than, say, um, in fact, I won't even go with 500. I would probably say this cannot be more than, say, uh, 250 in width, maybe, for instance. Again, stylize it accordingly. Please pay attention to how you're doing this, right? So if I just go back over here, now all of a sudden this form here deserves to be 100% uh, like that. Now, here's the key, key bit about your pop-up off canvas menu. You don't need to worry about the contents of the section or anything like that now. What you need to worry about is the settings. So down here, we have a cog called settings. Let's click that. That will now control your pop-up. We covered it in the previous videos, but I'll go over it really quickly for you again here. This is now where we're going to set the width. So now I've decided it's going to be 250. That's looking okay. Let me just double check by getting rid of that. That is fine. If you decide you want to give it a bit more spacing, you know, make it 260, go for it. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. The key bit, though, is where is that pop-up going to be? Is it going to be on the right-hand side or is it going to be on the left? I think going on the left is okay. So let's just go back to our section over here and I'm going to go to the height, minimum height, and I'm going to say this is a VH100. This is quite important. Because if you want it to be full height on your page, you've got to do that. And I'm also just going to go over here to this map and I'm just going to shrink it a bit like that, just so we it fits all perfectly within the height. OK, so it's a full height and it's going to come in on the left hand side. Let's go back into our settings. So we have set that. Will there be an overlay? Yeah, we'll have that. Will there be a close button? Uh, of course, kind of makes sense. You could vote in your settings that I'll show you close it by clicking here. But a lot of people might not realize that. Is there going to be any animation? So I'm going to say it comes in fade in left and on the exit, it fades out on the left as well. So it comes in and it goes out. Now we're going to go over to style. I'm not going to add any background color. I'm not going to add any border radius. You could do that. And I 
I'm not, I could, if I want, make this be a full black or I could even add an image as well. A lot of people don't realize this, but you could go in and go, right, we're going to drop in like an image like that. I'm not sure why I picked that one. <laughs> Let's go for something like that. You could put in an image that slides in as well. So maybe you're advertising a product or something else about your website. You know, it might be telling them, don't forget to click over here or don't forget to look at that, for instance. So there are other things you could do or you could just leave it as a color. And obviously, you know, set your styling and all of that in terms of placement of the image. The close button, we can increase the size as well if we want. And we can do the placement as well of that or however we want to do it. The key bit is the advanced tab. I'm going to say that this will appear automatically. There'll be no delay after you click the button. Prevent closing on overlay. So if you click here, nothing will happen. If you click escape, nothing will happen. You can't scroll up and down and avoid multiple pop-ups. There is nothing worse than when you click a pop-up and there's already another pop-up as well. What you want is if you click a pop-up, if there was another pop-up on the page, that closes up automatically. And I would strongly recommend you do that. Too many pop-ups is not a good thing. We're not going to do anything with the margins or padding. Now, when I click publish, I'll get this page here. And it's going to say, where do you want to display your template? I'm not going to set any conditions, any triggers, or any advanced rules whatsoever. This is a pop-up off canvas menu that I keep saying over and over again. So I'm just going to hit save and close. Let's now go over to our fake dummy fake page. I'm going to go over to this icon, click it, and I'm going to change this to be bars. So when you have a button or an icon, you will normally add in a URL link. But we have what's known as a dynamic tag over here. The stacks, whatever you want to call it. Hamburgers, lots of Big Macs. I don't know. Click that and then scroll down until you get to pop up. By the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So once you've done that and you've selected pop up, you have the spanner or the wrench. You click that and then go down here and then pick your pop up. I called it pop off, which sounds rude when you think about it. Now, hey, pop off. Right, here you go. So we're going to pick pop off. And that now is enabled. Uh, if I was to now just hit update and go to preview page, okay, we have the icon, right? Let's click it. Do you see what happens there? It kind of came in. I mean, I would say, though, because we had this effect going on, it probably was a little bit overly more dramatic. It just kind of appeared very sudden. Let's go into our pop-up. Let's just go to style, uh, overlay. Let's get rid of that image. Let's just make sure we've got a bit of a transparency shade over there. Let's go back to settings. And I'm going to say that the time for this is about one second. Let's hit update again, save and close. OK, let's go back over to the page, refresh the preview. And now when we click it. You see that you can have it as wide as you want as well. But if you set the VH to be 100, remembering that the height for the section, don't forget the height of the section is set to 100 as well. If we just update and hit save and close here again for that, go back over here, refresh the page. Now you'll get a full page pop up menu like that. You can even have it fade in. You can even have it zoom out towards and then zoom back away. You know, pick your animations for when it appears and disappears. It's a really, really cool and easy way just to do a pop up off canvas menu using the elemental tools. Now, there are other ways to do it using HTML, and I will be doing that in a later video. But I wanted to remind you how to do it using the elemental pop ups. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.